Alright, I got a couple things in the mail today. I got uh, my valve lapper. I think it's maybe 3 8 and 5 16 Not for sure. Can't remember. Got valve lapping compound. Got the coarse and the fine grade. Went by O'Reilly's and got these hose clamps for my fuel line. So tonight I'm going to actually lap my exhaust valve to get that into a good seal and then put some hose clamps on my fuel line. I just want to get everything prepped for when that new valve comes because I want to have it ready to put all back together and uh, fire it up and get it running. Alright, I got the exhaust valve out. There is a little bit of pitting on it, so I'm glad I'm um, lapping this in. One thing I want to show y'all is I'm wondering if this is okay, this amount of slop, I don't know, you can see that. But side to side it doesn't have any, but up and down it does. I'm guessing that's just because of the exhaust. Was more heat. Um, I'm just gonna let it go because I can't afford guides. I've got Versicam coarse grade grinding compound, and it comes shooting out. All right, there's the stuff right there. Just put a little dab on, all the way around. Yeah, it's more than a dab. Make sure you don't get any on the valve stem, because then it'll um, screw up your guide. Well, this seemed to expose a lot more pitting than I had first noticed. Get a nice clean edge on there. Just still some more pits in the valve. I don't feel good about letting those pits go, so I'm gonna keep doing it. All right, so I got the lapping done. I did probably three or four rough, and probably three um with the fine grit. There's the valve seat. There's the valve. There's still a little bit of pitting, but I didn't want to ruin the valve, so got most of it out and then went to the fine. So I will put the exhaust valve back together and then do the intake tomorrow. Stay tuned. Alright, I got my parts in today. I have a new spark plug, gasket for the cylinder, new valve, main item here, gasket for the head, new air filter, and also a spring for automatic cam chain titcher. Alright, I'm lapping in the intake valve. I I'm using coarse grade lapping compound or grind, uh, metal grinding compound. <clears throat> I think it's about 120 or something like that. Uh, 120 grain. Um, I'm just twisting it in there, tapping to reload the seal with fresh grinding compound. Twisting it, turning it a little bit, 
tapping. You want that whole valve to be seated with the uh, valve seat perfectly to create a really good seal. When you hear that kind of roughness go away, it's time to put new grinding compound on. Pop it off the suction cup. Go ahead and wipe her off. As you can see, I'm getting a finish, good finish on there. Alright, but you can see on the valve seat, which is not that shiny, but the next part down here is dirty, but up here is shiny. Right there. So I'm trying to get all the way around good and cleaned up. But I really just want to get this thing together. <sighs> Alright, I got all the stuff back on there. I got the cylinder, I got the head, got the carburetor, got everything hooked up. Already fired it, it did pop, but we're going to see if it, if it runs. Alright. had this thing running and it stopped running after my, uh, my brother was going to ride it. show you why. This is the timing chain. The timing sprocket goes on here for the camshaft. I did not remember to torque this down and I have probably bent one or two of my valves because of it. So, really friggin' horrible lesson to learn. Don't get in a rush.